Alright, so I haven't done one yet. Those of you that are unfamiliar with the K2 meter, it's a very, very simple thing. Um, not to digress, but I have my obvious going because there's a teacher named Carol who died in a multiple car crash it is communicating with me. So if you hear that going off, just ignore it. Um, I may break away to talk to her here and there. But anyway, this is the meter. Mine came in black. Uh, I think that's how they're making them now. Um, basically, it's got the switch right there, and it stays on instead of using a penny like the old school ones. Um, and it, you know, does whatever it needs to. Um, my other is just a car piece. So, but anyway, this is how it is. Um, same thing, turn it off. When you turn it on, that blink right there, that lets you know when it's ready. And you just turn it off. Now, to change the battery, it said initial. My other just did. But anyway, to change the battery, you gotta pull out these two screws. And you know, they're fairly big. A lot bigger than I was expecting, but not too big. But anyway, you take the back cover off, and there's a 9 volt battery. Now with this you have to be careful, because if you tilt it, the whole thing comes out, so, but, there's a battery, 9 volt, stick it in there, change it out, put the cover back on, and put the screws in. It kind of spreads apart when you take the screws out, there we go, um, but that's normal, so. That's your basic look at the K2 meter, not a whole lot to it, and uh, any questions let me know. Thanks for watching.